to take you now to Tallahassee, where Florida Governor Rick Scott is holding a news conference regarding Tropical Storm Michael. Let's listen in. Five inches of rain. Tropical Storm Michael will bring dangerous storm surge to many areas, even those outside the path. If this storm hits Panama City, Tampa could still have storm surge. You cannot hide from storm surge, so get prepared and get out if an evacuation is ordered. This storm has the potential to bring devastating impacts to communities across the Panhandle and Big Bend, and every family must be prepared. We all saw the damage that Hurricane Ermi did to the neighborhoods in its path just two years ago, and Tropical Storm Michael is forecast to have similar impacts. Here is what the state is doing right now. The Florida National Guard has 5,500 Guard members available for deployment, and right now I am activating 500 for planning, logistics, and response. Fish and Wildlife is actively monitoring Tropical Storm Michael and is ready to respond. They put 40 additional law enforcement officers from outside the projected path on notice to deploy. This includes a variety of specialized equipment, including shallow draft boats, ATVs, airboats, and four-wheel drive vehicles. Department of Transportation is actively monitoring Tropical Storm Michael and is preparing crews in anticipation of landfall in the Panhandle. The Agency for Healthcare Administration is in contact with healthcare facilities to ensure they have the resources they need. There is nothing that our state will not do to make sure that every family and visitor in Florida is prepared for any possible impact from this storm. We know that storms like Michael can be absolutely devastating and life-threatening, and that is why we all have to take this very seriously. Families should take this opportunity to get three days of food and water and make sure all medications are ready. Check on your neighbors and listen to local officials. For our local governments, let's make sure everyone has what they need. I'm calling on every local government to immediately confirm that there are mutual aid agreements between investor-owned utilities, municipal and co-ops in Florida have been signed and are in place and effective so that there is no delay in power 